Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh. <sighs> Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You've three seconds till I pull. I better reflexes. And you're a marksman. We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up. Only way forward. Huh. Gotta be another way in there. Well, that's weird. All right, that's it. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. Huh. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I could manipulate their timelines, rewind them. There's still no word from Burke on Jack Joyce's position. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. The Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Everybody Monarch took from the university was on that board. Two lines to the deceased. 
Like they were nothing. During the gala? You're sure? Positive. Dispose of the witnesses. Is this the last of the witnesses? No. Reaper team's finishing up with the last of them in A3. Didn't ex It's like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. Okay, looks like that elevator needs power. No power, figures. You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm No! Headed. Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. Now, Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. Don't you dare pull that 
Fucking trigger. Orders. I'll make it quick. Ah! Ah, for Christ's sake. Misfire. You're supposed to be the ones who's friggin' protecting us! Is it the firing pin again? Yeah, I think so. What was that? Shit! Shit! You're the taxi guy. You drove me to the university. What is all this? They're killing everybody. Everybody from the university, they grabbed me out of my goddamn cab. Jesus. You saved my ass. How'd you get free? I'm still figuring that out. You motherfuckers. Keep fighting. Those are my last words to her. That chills up my spine to think I might have... We're not here to talk about Amy Ferrero. Look. I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know how to get there? Dry docks? Uh, yeah, I think I know the way. Whatever you need, I got your back. Push. We gotta make it through that building to get to the dry dock. Thank Christ you're okay. What about that guy you went to see at the campus? Did he get out all right? No. Not exactly. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. You can't let them do this. It's locked. There's going to be a gate around here. I'll take a look. I can't believe this. The world's got to know what happened here. Oh, hey, the gate's open. How are you gonna get past that gate? Oh shit. You just... What are you, some kind of goddamn X-Men? That was... Okay. Don't panic. It's um... Friggin' sick, man! Alright. Not the reaction I expected. I knew this kind of crap existed! Driving a cab, I've seen some stuff, man. Oh, I'm just glad you're on my side. <laughs> you're like a government experiment. Did they know what's going on here? I only know what my brother told me. Time is breaking down and Monarch is involved somehow. You still with me? So this whole place was a huge industrial area, and it's where all the ghosts did all the ghost work, you know, building ghost boats or whatever. And then all right. in 2010, they all lost their jobs. There was a big ghost recession, and, and now they just creep around all <laughs> unemployed or, or whatever. Okay, that last part needs some work, but the first part's pretty fucking solid. Yeah, that's definitely a theory. Need to get up to that open window.
Is that another one of those rewind things? I'm starting to get the hang of this. All right, that's that. Made it. Now to get to that door. I was starting to get a little antsy out there. All right, where are we going to next? Oh, hey, there's a map over here. We can figure out the best route to the dry docks. Hey, Magellan, you want to take a look at the map? Hmm, security's tight. We might have to head through that area called Ground Zero to get there. That's the exact area where my brother used to have his workshop. Your bro, you think he's connected to this somehow? I'm gonna find out. You should stay here for now. I have a feeling the next part's gonna get messy. Yeah, I don't do messy. All right, I'll guide you to the dry docks from here on the radio. Channel three. I'll open up the door for you. Deal. Keep safe. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, I heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... For you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Nick, are you there? Talk to me. Where am I going? That warehouse is split into two halves. Find the exit, take the alley to the other side, and let me know when you're there. All right. Shotgunner advancing on hostile! Mother... You wanna talk this out?
Right, taxi guy. Where am I headed? It's Nick, by the way. Jack. Okay, uh, there's a door on the upper level leading to a sky bridge, but looks like you need to turn off security to get it open. How do I do that? On the map, there's a squiggly line that leads from the door to a big square, and that square has two squigglies leading to little circles. What the fuck does that mean? What am I doing here? I don't know, man. I'm not the superhero. Find the door, follow a squiggly line to a box, more squigglies, circles, do something. Security turns off and you're golden. Thanks, Nick. Joyce just took out Gatehouse. Okay, security's down. Damn, that, that was quick. Just took out Gatehouse One. You still don't have eyes on him? What, what do they pay you for? <clears throat>
Nick, I'm on the bridge. Oh, uh, map says you're heading towards a storage facility for, uh, Meyer Joyce particles and harvesting equipment. Joyce particles? This whole operation is based on my brother's research. Your bro? You don't think he's working for... No. I, I don't know what to think, but Paul is up to something big. See if you can find out more. Yeah, I'm on it. Chronon levels will lower to a point that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. There he is! I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essential before we go. I'm in the harvesting warehouse. It looks like there's no clear exit on the ground level. Head for the upper floors when you're ready. No clear exit down here. May have to head upward. There's gotta be something I can do. elevator. Will doing in there. Those dates, 1999 and 2010, keep coming up in these files. And here is where it gets scary. 2010 minus 1999 equals 11. Times 11 by 2010, flip it backwards, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. 
it's not exact, but it's like a couple numbers off from being our zip code. Uh-huh. Keep me posted. Okay, getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? There we go. I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene wants the first look. Till then, Til then, hands off. Hands off. Okay. Huh. I think there's no power to the lock. So this thing okay. The universe, Looks like the trailer has power now. It was bad before. It's real bad now. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car. Dump the contents on the table. The will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch got footage of some idiot accessing Facebook from a nearby security station. Please tell me said idiot isn't with you. Nick, I gotta go back for him. Don't. I'll pick him up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul at the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Nick, you still there? Oh, shit. Jesus! Close one. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. Yeah, take a wild guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there, and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering. Got the word. Safeguard squad's checking out that explosion. Striker team is- Stay sharp! We're not- Back up a 
approaching green zone. Engaging target. signs of an incoming stutter. Safeguard, I want Joyce contained before that stutter hits. for his men to move from stutters. He knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Holy shit. And yet he never tried to stop it. Never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. It's the only way forward. Absolutely no entry. But I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What the hell? What is this? What the hell? What is hell? What is this? What is this? already happened.
fuck? to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Need my grant Need my extended, extended another year. year. Please, Please, don't do this. this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It's impossible don't to crack. overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. I refuse to leave while Jack's still here. I need to contain him. Paul, your condition is critical. The stress. If you don't receive your treatment, you know what could happen. Come to the island right now. The treatment will be waiting for you. You'll be back in back. There's something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. 
He'd had his powers much longer than me. But what was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! There we go. Sir. Paul. Stop! Come back, goddammit! Don't. Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. 
but we both know it did. That's gonna hurt. Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. start. Get in. What if I don't trust you? Then shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the van. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. 
And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. She scares me, Jack. My ride, my music. Deal with it. I love this song. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. What was your brother doing in this shithole? Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. I agree. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the $12,000 moving bill. Trusty pet mouse, he must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Where'd he go? Shit. You own this place since... 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? No wonder you were always coming up with crazy shit. And we're back. This is Bobby Radford with the latest. Hey, there we go. Any luck in there? Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. About time. This note. It's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Yeah. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the... Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. 
Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me, but, <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Hey. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it- I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without a countermeasure. But you're right. We need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. What the shit? I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. You must have hit it here. Okay, core controls. Where are they? It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell's it look like? A round thing in the middle. Think. I can't activate the core till it's reset. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will was leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. I think the control doohickey's right here. 
the corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. Key fits. It looks like I have to do something else first. No, nothing I can make sense of. Here goes nothing. What was that? It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It worked. <laughs> it actually worked. Okay. We activate the corridor next. Whoo! Jesus, look at that thing go! That's my brother in a nutshell. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. It's a hell of a thing, huh? Jesus, look at this thing. One guy built all that? No way that's possible, man. It took me five months to build a shitty birdhouse. You think you had help? <laughs> no, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened, something's wrong with the machine. We don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We know I'm right. Stop input. trying. That... You lost people, you're angry, I get it. Yeah, that might be it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, 
Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? Does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Up into the past, I tried to change things. Answer me this question, Paul. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. George, with miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. Martin, I'm afraid you're gonna have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Time is breaking down. Monarch has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? Anyone who might implicate Monarch. Fuck you. Hmm. Wait! We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous.
the treatments. They're losing their effectiveness. They're fine. No. I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. I think it could be happening sooner than we... I've seen when it happens. At least consider that maybe you misinterpreted something. Jack knows where William's machine is. I have to go talk to him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Sophia. Thank you. You haven't touched your drink. I mean, I'm just not, I'm not really into drinking a lot, I guess. Oh, <laughs> rough day? Yeah. Yeah, same here. Like what? I have things happen in my day. I do. Uh -huh. We had, uh, I had to deal with some internal affairs. Internal mm -hmm. affairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Trader. Was that what all that commotion was about? Yep. Okay. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> Who's the. Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Uh, what? I am not at liberty to discuss this. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I guess, I guess I'm just going to have to leave you hanging on that one. For real. This time. Oh, I just thought maybe you'd want to. Share it with me. Yeah, All right, I'm gonna use the restroom, so I'll leave you hanging here for real. Okay. Go mingle. Yeah. Drink okay. a little. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks for the gun. Dr. Rumrow? Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. And what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. 
filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. I mean, if I'm being honest, I rule the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare for my speech. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? We have control of the presentation. Make it look good. Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker! Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Fuck, come on, Crocker. Crocker! Crocker! Come on, Crocker! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Over there. Where? The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty good choice, yeah. but I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks, chatting about stocks. Yeah. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh my god, you're always losing things. I'm not losing anything. Ooh. Drama. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. She's going for it. No. Bam. Oh, why am I losing you owe me so bad? Sword. I don't think I can drink. Drink. Anymore. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually ate all this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> Oh. Nicely done. Oh. Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. Okay. All right, lady. I'm taking, I'm taking mine too. Crocker, 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 Crocker. Hey, hey, buddy. Crocker! Crocker! Burke! Crocker! Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Burke, listen. If I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. Oh, what a good word for you? I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Oh, fuck, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Come on. Oh, man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. So you don't mind that we left you? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, because somebody twisted my arm. 
the fuck is that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur wearing a helmet. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Wh hey, where are we? Are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> OK. All right. So what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't have gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and then I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you work a little too much. Yes. Is but that I... a good answer? <laughs> well, no, I mean, and I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know, I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, don't you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. I am there. I guess. Yeah. I love work. Hold oh, right there! You little fuck! Hey, hey, All you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab. You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? She's the reason I'm here. Gun still necessary? Yeah. yeah. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person. right up here. Yeah. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. Yeah, I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> Is this it? What is that? is that? Grown <laughs> undisrupted life form. Extremely hostile.
The second machine. Where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Up into the past, I tried to change things, undo mistakes, only to find there's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. And no matter what I do, time ends. I think you've lost your fucking mind. My mind is intact, I assure you. My memory, however, it's stretched. Like, I've seen too much. All of it blending into one. Apart from a few fragments of memories, one in particular, you and I were 11 or 12 years old when we found that vagrant, remember? And when I arrived at the pass, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof, I tried to talk him down, but my presence startled him and he fell, same as before. Anything I try to change, it just triggers the same event. And we keep seeing that body. Because we were meant to. I'm not turning my back on the human race. At this point, they're a necessary sacrifice. Is that what Will was? Necessary sacrifice? Will refused to believe the inevitability of what was coming. And he became an obstacle. Answer me this question, Paul. In everything you've seen, do I stop before you're dead? ready to cooperate, I'll be here. Who was he? He was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of, I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's remnant of mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got the um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea, but the, the Cronon field regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. We have to go. Wait. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Turn. No, 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 no. Don't go. You end up like her. Fiona. 
lab is stutter proof. Stay here. That's stutter? Where are you going? There are code on harnesses up here. We need them. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Go this way! 